got some ice for me? Thank you. My head hurts so much. Don't blame yourself, baby. It's not your fault. It's my fault. I should have remembered to get some more antibiotics before I ran out. Now I'm paying the price for it. No, I'm not okay. Yeah, it feels so ironic, you know. I talk about you humans being so relaxed and ignorant. Yet, you managed to survive on this planet. The diseases here are some of the deadliest I've ever seen. <clears throat> I'm not gonna make it through this. No, you, you can't call an ambulance. You can't let anyone see me like this. Especially not while I'm in my true form. Unfortunately, no. I can't transform. Ugh. It's too painful for me to do it right now. So no. No ambulance. No hospitals. And no emergency rooms. Ugh. My head is killing me. As a matter of fact, yes, I would rather die. Especially if it means hiding the hive's existence and serving the queen. What do you mean she's not here alongside me? Of course she's not here. She's too important to risk in such a dangerous mission. Why would you bring it up? Do I have a problem with that? Of course not. Do not try to test my loyalty to my queen. Do not try to make me second guess my choice to serve the hive as best I could. Did I want anything else in life? No. And I don't really understand why I would ever want to do anything else. This is what I was born for. And this is what I would like to die doing. Baby, you know that I love you very much. What if I had to choose between you and the hive? I don't know. What would I do? It's a hard decision. It's a really hard choice. I don't know what I would do if that happened. I have to make that choice now. What do you mean? I see what you mean. Sacrifice myself for the hive, or get discovered, but at least being allowed to live out my life with you. You got me in a corner here, both figuratively and literally. <laughs> You know, I always thought I would get killed fighting against an enemy. That was what we changelings were prepared for. Never thought I would die lying on a bed, waiting for a disease to finally end my misery by finishing me off. <clears throat> At least if I was in combat, I would have a chance to do something. I would just die with a little bit of control left. Alright, I think I've made my decision. For the good of you and everyone on Earth, I'm asking you to just let me die. It's not that I want to die, but if I get discovered, that will probably mean war. The current situation and every available action, I believe this is the best choice that can benefit the most amount of people. <sighs> 
promised me he won't let anyone know of our existence. Please. What are those other choices? Well, there was the possibility of going to an emergency room. But I already told you why I don't want that. Then, of course, I could just die here. An option I am willing to go with. The final option would be for me to go back into space, go to a medical station, and hopefully get cured. However, I would have to be away from Earth for an indeterminate amount of time. And people might begin to wonder where I went, and I can't really think of a convincing alibi right now. So I don't really consider that an option. Seriously, baby? You want to go with that one anyway? But what if someone takes notice or asks? That's your plan? You're just gonna go with it anyway? Alright. But I am in no condition to be operating the shuttle. So I will need someone else to do it. Someone like you, maybe? Mm -hmm. Oh, I had... <laughs> yes, you. I think you've earned my trust. Alright, you go get ready. I will leave a message to my advisor on Venus. I'll let him know what's going on. Then we can take off. Alright. See ya. Alright. Looks, Looks like, like she's, she's gone, gone now. now. Time to get the communicator back up. There we go. Alright. And message Ben. Let's do this. This is Shadow Gear to Venus Forward Operating Base. I'm leaving a message for Captain Ben of the THS Prosecutor. I have caught some kind of Earth disease. It is killing me right now. Luckily, I am in a situation where I can disappear for a while and nobody would think twice. So, I'm going off-world to a medical station. Hopefully they can cure me. You won't hear from me for a while, but I promise I will return to my post when I have recovered. If I were to die, it was an honor to serve you, Captain. There we go. That takes care of the Captain. I don't think I'll have to worry about him missing me while I'm gone. Eh, baby. Welcome back. Are you ready to go? Yeah? Alright. Can you drive me to the shuttle? I'm in no condition to be driving. Thank you. It's hard walking, but I should be able to make it to the car. Let's go. That is the control panel over there. First, sit on the chair and strap yourself in. We don't have artificial gravity on this ship, so when we get up to space, I don't want you to float around. Alright, seatbelts are on. Now, see that furthest button to your left? Push the button to start the engine. Alright, there we go. The buttons with the arrows control the ship's movements. The set of buttons on the left controls the ship's horizontal movements. While the set of buttons on the right controls the ship's vertical movements and the rotation. Hey, be careful. Don't crash into anything. Don't go so quickly. There we go. Now, give me a second, let me get some coordinates down.
Hmm? This? It's uh, warping. It's how we travel long distances from one planet to another. Though it's not exactly like those science fiction movies or TV shows. How does it work? Well, you see, we use TNOC built into these ship's engines to manipulate time and space at will. We haven't been able to use TNOC for anything else. This is the only known method of controlling it safely. It would normally take like millions of years to travel from one side of the galaxy to another, and you can't really go faster than light like you can in the movies. Since we have TNOC, we can get there by artificially shortening the distance, allowing us to travel long distances in a few minutes with a slow speed. However, this technology is not perfect, so I would always leave a lot of space between the ultimate destination and my ship whenever we come out. That, and I would not rely on this for traveling from one area to another at a short distance. Especially if it was from, say, Europe to Asia, that would be too short of a distance for me. Yes, I would sit in one of your Earth planes if I had to go someplace on Earth. Ideally, I'd rather use my transport. I feel like that's safer, but Earth transportation is better than nothing. There we go. The coordinates are set. Now, when we arrive at the medical station, just let me do the talking, alright? Okay. Now, see that button to your right? I want you to press it when I tell you to. Alright. Final checks are complete. Preparing it to warp in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Press the button quickly.